It's not just the shape of the elephant house at the Zurich Zoo that's unusual, but the building material too. Instead of the usual steel and concrete, it's made largely from wood. Despite its large 85 meter diameter, the interior dome needs no supports. Even a few years ago, it would never have been built from wood. Architect Philip Heidemann was involved in the project. It was initially met with skepticism. What would happen if it caught fire, for example? Are the insurance premiums higher? And how does it age? Is it really as durable as steel and concrete? But there's been a strong shift in the way people think. Japanese architect Shigeru Ban is a veteran of wooden buildings. In this Zurich office block, even the joists are made of wood. Star architects Herzog and de Meuron also used wood for their mountaintop restaurant. Spanish architect Santiago Calatrava is known for his glass, steel and concrete designs. But wood steals the show inside Zurich University's law department. Ironically, this timeless material seems to be enjoying a renaissance in modern architecture. Writer Philip Giodidio explores this in his illustrated book, Wood Buildings. There are many, many different ways to use wood, and that it's used all over the world. Uh, there, there are examples from many different countries and many different types of building, uh, public, private, uh, residential, uh, business. In Germany, around 20% of single-family homes are made from wood. Developers are using it more and more for larger buildings too, like this school near Lausanne, Switzerland. The company Local Architecture, who designed the school, are doing their bit to push the trend. Their design won first prize in the 2015 Prix Lignum, an award that honors innovative uses for wood. Definitely a um, renewable resource and, and towards the, the sustainable world we're aiming at. I think that's a really good material to use and, and for us this is an exercise to um, design in a design wooden building in a contemporary way. It's sustainable, contemporary and attractive. But wood has even more to offer. In Switzerland, wood has always been used in rural areas as the cheapest building material. And using prefab wooden elements can really cut down building times, like at this sports hall, for example. New means of processing also make the wood more stable than it was before. This opens up new realms of possibility for architects too, who until now were restricted to using concrete. Most of the time actually clients are feel com comfortable in wood in terms of uh, atmosphere and they also have this feeling that the concrete is maybe too, um, too modern or too cold or this. The concrete has a bad image. Plans for wooden buildings are becoming ever more spectacular, like the design for Helsinki's Guggenheim Museum. And Berlin architect Jörg Meyer uses wood for futuristic masterpieces like the Metropole Parasol in Seville. I don't think wood has been fully exploited yet. But acceptance within society is on the rise. People are creating bigger and bigger, more sophisticated buildings from wood. High rises are the next step. In the Norwegian city of Bagen, the world's tallest wooden housing block was completed in 2015. At 51 meters, it's a world record that won't last long. In Vienna, construction is underway for a building which is set to reach an impressive 84 wooden meters.